Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to zoom text using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, let's go ahead and open up Premiere. So inside Premiere, I've got a blank project. Inside the media here, I'm going to right click, go to new and set a color mat, color mat here. Inside the color mat, I'm going to set it to 1920 by 1080 HD resolution, set it to 30 frames a second and leave it at square pixels and then click OK. You can pick any color you like. This is going to be our background color. For now, I'm going to set it to black, but we can change that quite easily. I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's click the OK button. We'll click OK again, and then we drag and drop that onto the canvas. So we've got a background now, a black background. We can drag the handle here to increase the time. And I want to create a text object on top of here now. So let's create the text tool. Select that. And let's click here on the canvas. And we're going to type in, uh, let's type in, blur zoom all right so we're going to do some sort of blur zoom text let's click on the selection tool and grab that and the text is probably just the right size so let's expand this i'm using a font called november you can make it bold if you want to make it bold but i'm going to leave it unbolded i set it to around 113 or 100 uh, 314 size and you can play around with these settings to you know change the fonts or just pick a different font if you want to pick a different one but i'm going to use this font called november let's click on this text i want to put the registration point into the center so we can center this text on the canvas here so let's click on this registration point left click on it hold down the control key and then we can drag it and it will snap to the center of this text object then we can click on the text object itself hold down the control key and then snap that to the center of this canvas here now we want to uh basically add a blur right and we want to zoom in on this text so let's do the zoom element first what we'll do is scroll down underneath the text blur zoom here we want to scroll down to um the scale so we want to scale this text we want it large at the beginning and then scale down to this size so what we want to do is scrub across this timeline until we get to one second we're on 24 frames so we just use the left and right arrow key to get to exactly one second here one second and what we want to do is add a keyframe for the scale. So let's click this stopwatch here. That will add a keyframe. And now we want to just scrub back to the beginning of our uh, media here. And we want to zoom. So let's just grab this handle and drag across until we zoom right in. Let's say I'm going to set it to around 300. We can increase or decrease that afterwards. 300 is what I'm going to set it to right now. And we want it to be blurred out at the beginning and then as it gets closer to the um, the full text, we want the blur to be removed. So let's go and type in Gaussian here, G-A-U, for Gaussian blur, and we drag that onto the text as well. And then we'll see the Gaussian blur options here. And we just want to repeat what we've done just now. So we want to move to one second. So you can scrub across the timeline and go to one second, or you can scroll down and click this little white arrow here. That will move to that particular keyframe, which allows us to put our next keyframe for the Gaussian blur in the correct position. So for the blur, we just want to set the uh, stopwatch here for the blurriness. Let's click that. And then we can just grab the handle here, drag all the way back, and then we can set the blurriness. So we're going to set it to around, let's say, 130. Around 130. We can, again, experiment with that afterwards. So let's go down to here, and we're going to click and select all of these keyframes all of them so just hold down the left mouse button so you can select the top two keyframes and these bottom two down here as well we're going to right click on one of the keyframes and set it to ease out so it will start fast and as it gets towards the end it will slow down kind of gradually slow down let's select ease out and then we can click on the back arrow here and then click play and we'll get this zoom effect right this blur zoom effect that's what we were trying to achieve now we can improve that slightly by rotating the text. So let's scroll down to the text options here. And we already implemented one for this scale. So let's click this arrow to move to the last keyframe. And in the rotation, we're going to add a keyframe. So here we have one keyframe. Let's click this arrow that will take us back to the first keyframe here. And we're going to rotate this around, let's say around uh, 20 something. Let's say around 20, 25, 24, something around there. Something like that. We'll set it to 24 degrees and now when we click play it's going to rotate and zoom and blur all at the same time so it's quite a nice effect and i mentioned that we can change the font color and we can also change the background color so let's move it to uh one second around one second that's where our clip ends we can double click on the mat down here double click 
and we can choose a different color so maybe we'll go for like a dark sort of blue color uh, depending on your text if your text is light then you really want a darker sort of color if your if your text is very dark then you want to pick a lighter background color let's click ok and now we've got this blue background we can click on the text we can scroll down here and we can choose a different fill type so we can click here and maybe we'll make uh, the text let's say like a, a green color for example All right and then we can go back and we can click play then we've just got a different color scheme so you can experiment with the colors you can click here and add a little outline around it so you can increase that outline you can just do like uh, something like this then we can go back and click blur or click play and then we have an outline with the blur as well so you can go and experiment with that for now i think i'm going to click here and leave it on uh, this black color and i think that looks okay let's click back on the text and inside of the text color itself i don't really like that green so i'm going to try and choose a blue like a lightish sort of blue color which i think will work better let's click ok and i prefer that i think that color scheme looks pretty good let's go back and click play one more time and that's how you go about creating a blur zoom uh, text effect and we'll also show you how to rotate that text as well let's go to file save and we'll minimize this that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial